10 Earth Facts You Probably Didn't Know We seem to believe we know pretty much everything there is to know about our home planet. However, did you know that the Earth is covered in gold? If you'd like to know how much gold is on our planet, make sure to watch until the end and don't forget to like this video. Starting with number 10. The moon is most likely a piece of the Earth. Scientists claim that before our world met its celestial companion, the early Earth was on its own in its orbit around the Sun. Then, about 4 billion years ago, when the Earth was still a baby, a massive space rock the size of Mars, called Thea, collided with our world. This resulted in a large chunk of the Earth breaking free, eventually becoming the Moon, our satellite. And our world was never alone after that. Number 9. There was, and possibly still would be, another moon. According to some scientists, our world once had a second satellite. A smaller celestial body, about 750 miles wide, orbited the Earth like a second moon, according to their studies. Later on, it most likely collided with our primary satellite. A collision like this could explain why the two sides of the moon appear so different, with one being heavily cratered and rugged, and the other being smooth. Scientists still don't rule out the possibility that Earth will acquire another satellite in the future. Even now, the Earth is followed by plenty of celestial bodies. They're often passing through, but scientists say that our planet's gravitational field sometimes traps even very large asteroids, which then rotate around the Earth for several months, or about three rotations. After that, they simply go on their journey through the universe. Number 8. Quakes also occur on the Moon. Earthquakes on the Moon, or moonquakes, aren't anything out of a science fiction novel. They really happen. They aren't as common as on Earth, but they are much deeper and closer to our satellite's core, about halfway between the surface and the center. Scientists say this phenomenon is caused by the gravitational force between the Earth and the Moon. Number 7. The magnetic field of the Earth is shifting. The Earth's magnetic field is strong due to two important factors, its nickel iron core and its relatively quick axial rotation. Earth's magnetic field is important since it protects the Earth from the effects of solar winds. The magnetic field of our world is something we think of as constant and stable. However, the reality is that this is shifting. According to researchers, the northern magnetic pole has moved 685 miles northwestward across the Canadian Arctic since the 19th century. The magnetic pole in the south is also continuously moving. The migration of the poles has been known to scientists for a long time. In 1831, James Ross, a British naval officer and explorer, discovered the northern magnetic pole for the first time. He found it on an exhausting journey to the Arctic, where his ship became stuck in the ice, and the crew was forced to spend four years there. Perhaps, that is why no one returned to that spot until the next century. Roald Amundsen, a Norwegian polar explorer, returned to the North Magnetic Pole in 1904, and discovered that it had moved 31 miles since Ross's discovery. Number 6. The Earth's color used to be purple. Dr. Shilda Sarma, a microbial geneticist at the University of Maryland, suspects that our world was once purple. He believes that ancient microbes processed sunlight using other molecules, rather than chlorophyll. These molecules would have given the microbes a violet color, rendering the entire Earth purple. Number 5. Mount Everest isn't the tallest mountain on Earth. This could come as a shock, but Mount Everest's title as the world's tallest mountain could be in jeopardy. This gigantic mountain rises to a height of 29,029 feet above sea level. There is no other mountain on the planet that is as tall as this one. But let me tell you about Mount Akea, a mountain in Hawaii. It rises proudly to a height of 13,802 feet above sea level, making Hawaii the world's second tallest island. So what's your point? It's a lot shorter than Mount Everest. That's right. But the thing is, the majority of this over 1 million year old mountain is underwater, and when measured from the ocean floor to the top, 
Mauna Kea is actually 33,000 feet tall, making it technically the world's tallest mountain. Number 4. There are exploding lakes on Earth. There are three deadly explosive lakes on the border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda, as well as in Cameroon. Crater lakes named Nyos, Manaun, and Kivu can be found on Earth's volcanic surface. This suggests that magma under the surface is releasing carbon dioxide into the lake's waters. This carbon dioxide accumulates in a dense layer at the bottom of the lakes until the pressure gives way and it explodes. It doesn't happen that much. However, if someone unluckily happens to be passing by at that time, they would be asphyxiated by gas. So basically, it's a farting lake with the potential to kill you if you get too close. Just like my brother. Number 3. The most powerful volcanic eruption in history occurred on Earth. In April 1815, the most powerful eruption ever reported occurred. Mount Tambora in Indonesia was at the epicenter of the blast. On the volcanic explosivity index, this eruption was rated a 7 or super colossal. This ranking, which ranges from 1 to 8, is equivalent to the Richter scale for earthquakes. The 1815 explosion was so loud that people on Sumatra Island, about 1,200 miles away, could hear it. This natural tragedy claimed the lives of over 71,000 people, and dark clouds of wet ash have blanketed distant islands. It's very frightening. Number 2. Gravity isn't the same all over the planet. Despite popular belief, the Earth is not perfectly round. It's more like a squashed sphere, like the shape of my head. As a result, its mass is uneven and varies in different locations, causing gravity wobbles in different parts of the Earth. One of these gravitational variations can be observed in Hudson Bay, Canada, where gravity is much weaker than anywhere else on Earth. Melted glaciers, according to a 2007 report, are the cause of such a phenomenon. There was once a thick layer of ice covering that region. When the ice melted, the glacier's imprint partially moved some of the Earth's mass away from that region. This minor deformation of the crust accounts for the 25 to 45 percent lower gravity there. Sounds like a perfect place to lose weight without putting in too much effort, doesn't it? For other areas, it may be linked to magma movement in the planet's mantle. At least, that's what science journal researchers believed. And lastly, number one. The Earth is covered in gold. We can find about 20 million tons of gold on our planet and in the oceans. It would be enough to coat the entire Earth in a two-foot layer of gold if any of this precious metal could be extracted. And if we gave everyone an equal share, each individual on the planet would receive nine pounds of this treasure. But don't start digging in your yard just yet. The metal is so diluted that only one gram of gold can be found in every 100 million tons of seawater. Is it worth the shot? Which of these Earth facts surprised you the most? Share it with us in the comments section. Feel free to share this video with your curious friends too, and don't forget to like and subscribe.